Good morning, Dr. Main. Hi, Sarah. Can you tell me more about malaria and COVID-19? Malaria versus COVID-19 Malaria is a parasitic disease caused by Plasmodium species either Falciparum, Vivax, Ovale, Malaria, Nalasi, while COVID-19 is a viral disease caused by coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. Symptoms Symptoms of malaria include fever and flu-like illness, such as shaking chills, headache, muscle aches, and tiredness. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea may also occur. Malaria may cause anemia and jaundice, yellow coloring of the skin and eyes, because of the loss of red blood cells. Most common symptoms of COVID-19 Fever Dry cough Tiredness Other symptoms, runny or stuffy nose Less common symptoms Aches and pains Sore throat Diarrhea Conjunctivitis Headache Loss of taste or smell A rash on skin or discoloration of fingers or toes Serious symptoms Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath Chest pain or pressure Loss of speech or movement Seek immediate medical attention if you have serious symptoms. Always call before visiting your doctor or health facility. Period of manifestation of symptoms. People with mild symptoms who are otherwise healthy should manage their symptoms at home. On average it takes 5 to 6 days from when someone is infected with the virus for symptoms to show, however it can take up to 14 days. Mode of transmission. Malaria is transmitted through Anopheles mosquito. COVID-19 is transmitted through respiratory droplet. Are they contagious diseases? Malaria is not a contagious disease but COVID-19 is a contagious disease. Disease coverage Although malaria is endemic in many places and has been an epidemic from ancient times with clearer knowledge about it beginning from 19th century while COVID-19 still remains a pandemic currently been tackled. So we can safely say malaria is an ancient disease while COVID-19 is a modern disease. Number of cases In 2020 alone, Malaria caused an estimated 241 million clinical episodes against 227 million in 2019, and 627,000 deaths. An estimated 95% of malaria deaths in 2020 were in the WHO African region. While COVID-19 since 2019 December has surpassed 480 million cases with more than 6.1 million deaths, placing its death rate at about 1.3%. According to the 2021 World Malaria Report, almost half the world's population lives in areas at risk of malaria transmission in 87 countries and territories. Ages Affected Malaria kills children more. COVID-19 kills middle-aged, adults and the immunocompromised more. Death rates In 2020, four African countries accounted for more than half of all malaria deaths worldwide, Nigeria having 31.9%, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 13.2%, United Republic of Tanzania, 4.1%, and Mozambique, 3.8%. Mode of Prevention Vector control is the main way to prevent and reduce malaria transmission. Insecticide-treated mosquito nets. Anti-malarial drugs. Surveillance. Elimination by interrupting local transmission. Lasting vaccines are still under development, testing, and research. For COVID-19. Use of protective clothing and equipment. Isolation of infected persons. 
supportive treatment, stay hydrated, take more fluid for sore throat, take acetaminophen or antipyretics for fever, continue all previous treatment if there was any prior to COVID-19 mild symptoms, get enough rest. For moderate to severe symptoms including difficulty of breathing and fever over 38.3 C degree Celsius. Surveillance. Although large doses of different vaccines have been rolled out for vaccination, apart from the original strains of the virus which originated from China, several mutations still remain a concern to health workers vaccine developers and producers health organizations, different governments of the world and the general populace. Malaria is preventable and curable but for COVID-19, we know it is preventable but for a cure, only time will tell. These two killers cannot be overlooked protect yourself from them. Prevent them from killing others now. April 25th is marked as World Malaria Day. When do you think will be set aside for World Covid Day?